Is it important for you to forgive and forget? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Norman Vincent Peale, author of the best-selling book, How to Make Friends and Influence People, tells a story about a man who suffered from many health problems, headaches, skin troubles, gastric disturbances, insomnia. It did not take Mr. Peel long to discover that one basic cause was the burning anger that he felt towards his brother. The brother, the executor of their parents' estate, had misappropriated funds so badly that the man had been robbed of his inheritance. Mr. Peel said, I told him that his anger was understandable, but that if he wanted to recover his health, he would have to stop hating his brother. Mr. Peel continues, We talked a long time about the restorative power of forgiveness, and finally the man agreed to grit his teeth and forgive. But he kept coming back to see me because there was no improvement in his health. All the unpleasant symptoms remain. Finally, I said to him, Are you sure you have forgiven your brother? Yes, he said. I'm sure. I'm not angry with him anymore. Then another thought occurred to Mr. Peel. Do you ever think about the results of what he did? Of course, he said. How can I not think about them? I'm reminded every time I look at my bank account and I'm not able to buy basic necessities. Perhaps, Mr. Peel said to him slowly, that's the trouble. You made an effort to forgive your brother, but every time you think of what he did, the old resentments come flooding back. You've made some progress, but you're only halfway home. You have learned to forgive. Now you must learn how to forget. Forget, he echoed. How can I forget? Maybe there are areas in your life where you have been withholding forgiveness. If there are any grudges that you are carrying around with you, like a big rock, take a deep breath and decide to get rid of them. In today's Gospel reading, Peter asks Jesus, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? And Peter offers a guest to answer his own question, seven times. But Jesus replies, not seven, but 77 times. Jesus meant always, there should be no limit to forgiving. Jesus then launches into a parable of a king who cancels the debt of his servant. But when the servant himself could not forgive a fellow servant and put him in jail for a smaller debt, the king was enraged and the forgiveness he gave this servant was withdrawn. Jesus revs up his preaching on love by putting forgiveness into the Our Father prayer he taught his disciples and us. Every time we pray the Lord's Prayer, we commit to forgive those who sin against us because God has forgiven us. Forgiveness, though, cannot be given if our heart is not full of God's grace, for our feelings will always tell us not to forgive. But this grace can only be had if we ask of it from our Father in heaven. Forgiveness is also not something we can give if we do not pray for the well-being of the person who has hurt us. When we pray for the object of our intended forgiveness, we must pray to understand, to empathize, to put ourselves into his or her situation, to fully grasp the heart, the history of this person. Only then will we have the compassion to forgive. Mahatma Gandhi said, The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. Indeed, only those who are truly humble, those who have extinguished their own demons, those who have forgiven themselves, those who are desiring of their own peace, those who are determined to become holy as God is holy, can walk away from their anger and hatred and seek solace in the grace of their Father in heaven to be able to forgive. We may never be able to forget the incidents of the past that triggered our anger and unforgiveness, but just like a scar that remains from a wound on our arm, we can forget the pain that these have caused us. The opportunities are aplenty to obey the greatest commandments, to love God and neighbor, and forgiveness is the supreme test of loving. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I know that you desire me to follow your commandment of love. Grant me the grace to love and specifically to forgive those who have hurt me. And allow me, Lord God, the grace to also understand and appreciate where my brother or sister is coming from so that I may, in my heart of hearts, truly, truly love them and forgive them. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. 
Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.